All right, first things first, as someone pointed out, way down here, next to the fountain and stuff, I need to mark this, because it is an unexplored gate. I walked past it because I thought, that looks important, I'll definitely be going there, and then did the side path, because the side path looked like it would just be... I thought the side path would just be a little detour with a treasure chest or something, but the side path was actually how you progress through half the stuff, and the little the gate never actually got opened, so we'll be going to unexplored gate later at some point. But first of all, we need to solve whatever the hell is going on in this crazy little dungeon, which still involves trying to open this door. And my problem here... Let's see, is there, there's no button, right? My problem is that I, there's, I don't have a super clear mechanism on exactly how to open this door, so I'm a little stuck. So I might be here for a while, but I'm sure I'll save it in editing or something. By the way, sorry if the last episode ended very abruptly. It's because I suddenly felt kind of sick. Like, I just kind of, like, I, I just sort of felt, uh, what do I want to go? I felt nauseous. And so I felt the need to, uh, distance myself from the recording as soon as possible. Because I was concerned that I might throw up, and the constant talking is the worst thing to do when you feel nauseous. Because that just makes you feel like throwing up even more. So I'm going to scour this place up and down real quick, and I'm not going to show you the whole thing. I'll show you guys when I figure it out, because this might take me a while. So one thing I'm noticing here is that when I drop the spider down the hole and he activates the switch, these torches come on, and these torches are only above two of these platforms. So I'm wondering if I'm supposed to only... Oops. I'm wondering if I'm only supposed to activate those pressure plates. That does not appear to be the case. Okay, back to the drawing board. Oh hey, there's a button here. Have I pressed this before? Oh, new secret. Okay, hey. We've got a scroll. What's the scroll going to say out to us? Follow the light. Follow the light. Okay. There's light on those... T oh. There's light on more of those platforms than I thought. Let's try this again. These three have uh, light on them. Is that So maybe I was on the right track. I just didn't notice that this one was light lit up. Did I just solve it? I'm trying to listen for any changes, but I don't hear anything yet. But I pressed the three buttons with lights on them. So let's see if that means that upstairs is any different. It's a little annoying that the uh, door is upstairs because that means I don't immediately know if I fixed it or not. Be careful here. Ah! <gasps> I did it! Wow, I was totally on the right track with the uh, light thing. I just didn't notice that the one on the far left was lit up too. It's weird because the lanterns are not over those spots. They're on the, those two spots, but that's fine. Quick save and forward progress. I am all about the uh, the forward progress today. I was worried that, that I might get stuck there for a while. Another torch. Don't need torches no more though, now that I have my illumination sp uh, spell. Which I may as well... Recast there for a second, just to make sure it's on. What do we have around here? I want to be sure about buttons. That, that, uh, oh, there's a button. What did button do? Anything, de anything bad behind the button? No, there's armor. Okay. Oh. That's concerning when you open a door and then it's like, then something else opens too. So it's heavy armor, plus 12 protection, versus 4 protection. Hell yeah, I'll take it. Then I'll give the light armor to my character that'll be soon wearing light armor. Now I'm up to... 17.5 evasion, 40, 58 protection. As opposed to 18 and 4. 8, negative 3, 5 and 13. So my insectoid's not gonna go anywhere anytime soon. Uh... Might be going a little too heavy on his protection though. This is a whole... Is this a whole secret area, or is this leading me somewhere else? Man, this place just keeps going. Oh! Hello. I've been here before. That's the meditation spire. And this is that whole temple I was in before. So I just opened the door back to the beginning of the temple. Just like I was saying at some point that I would that I would probably do. So that was a good secret to find. God damn, they really hide those buttons though. That was the tiniest button. The tough part is that the button can be anywhere on the spot. That's the one I pressed already. So you really have to be thorough. Thankfully, it's one repeating wall texture over and over again most of the time, so... It actually makes it surprisingly easy to, uh, spot the difference. If you know what I mean. 
I don't know why I said if you know what I mean, like it's going to be up in the air. So this must be the meditation spire. Which we saw earlier in the dungeon. So how is it going to try to kill me? I don't believe in meditation. I'm sure this place is dangerous somehow. Let's look for buttons. Oh, there's a ladder. And I'm on top of the med- Ah! Walked over the meditation spire. My mistake. Let's get back on top of the meditation spire. Alright, now we're on top. Is there anything important that I can see from here? So far, no. There's a torch every now and then. This is a really cool view, though. So we have, we have a trench that goes around the entire level, and we have a few places to walk out of the area without going in the trench. I feel like I want to explore the trench first, though. Let's check the ladder side. Anything dangerous? No? Not yet, anyway. I feel like the trench is worth exploring. Because if I fall in here on accident, I definitely want to know what, I'm, what to expect. We have some bread on the floor. Okay, I'll take that. Why not? More food for me to carry around. Oh. F bread is too heavy. Let's eat it. There we go. Now it weighs less because it's inside you. That's not true. It weighs exactly as much. You are still just as over in burden as you were a moment ago, but video game logic. Was there something back there? No. But there's a bomb ahead of me. Yep, those are two bombs. Two fire bombs. Okie dokie. Sounds good. My wizard is just stop it, stocking up on fire bombs to one day throw in a crazy volley at a boss or something. Is that all I'm going to find down here is a few bombs? Because that's a little bit of a bummer. It looks like this trench might just be here for looks. Or maybe just, just to establish the idea that a trench might be a thing. Like, just to establish the idea of, like, by the way, multiple floors. I guess that's that's what this whole dungeon's been doing, is it's, it's been establishing that there's multiple floors in the in the game. So this is the bridge I came on, so this is the bridge that's forward, and I have no other options, so this is definitely where I'm going next. Was that a button? No, it's not. There's all there's all these broken corners in the in the bricks that make them look like buttons. It makes you extra jumpy. Uh hello fire. We're in another it looks like we're in another area that's going to open up a lot. I'm going to go this way because we can probably open the sh uh the path back to that healing crystal. It's good to establish a path to healing before anything else. Ah! Oh, no likey. Not one bit. Get out of here, bug. Gross. No, I don't want it. I don't want it at all. No. Oh my god, why is it so fast? Jesus Christ, why is anything this fast? You can't, you can't even really move away from it that well. It just comes after you. I fucked up. Okay, I need you to die right now. I just, okay. Everyone's dying now. Oh, okay, one person died. That's not too bad. I can still come back from that. It's the fucking crabs from the previous game. Okay, I'm gonna lure you back into the meditation chamber, because then I know where I am. I accidentally backed up too much, because that, that, that boss, that enemy was so aggressive that I was just... It was coming right up on my ass every time I took a step, so I... I went too far, and I walked into the previous zone. I mean, I went, I went into another zone that I haven't explored yet, which is a bad move, so I walked into another... One of these... I found a new, new enemy. This guy's very resilient to a lot of damage, isn't he? Wow. I should stop hitting with anything besides my hammer, because my hammer seems to be the only thing that works. It's my lobster hammer. That's a really horrifying crustacean creature thing. You're not a, well, you're not a crustacean, are you? I don't know. Whatever. I don't like crabs. Get out of here. Wow, he does a lot of damage with that with that attack, and no one else does damage. It's a waiting game of let's wait for the Minotaur to repl replenish his attack and then maybe hit somebody. Oh, that don't, oh, only did one damage. Oh, that's 11 damage. So it must depend on how... He must have a flat damage reduction, and then... Uh, it's reduced to 1 if it's too low, if you don't do enough damage. Because I'm noticing that sometimes I do 11 damage, which is way better. With my uh, sword, which has normally been doing 1 damage, but holy crap, this guy's great evasion. Or I have terrible accuracy. Probably both. Can't Why can't it be both? Shoot. Oh wow, that time the gun hurt him. So everything is more or less a valid way of hitting him. It's just... The more damage, the better. 13 damage. This guy is lasting 500 years! I really wish I had my spellcaster. I could use that resurrection resurrection potion, but I feel like I might be able to get to that one, that crystal I saw. <clears throat> I feel like I might be able to get to the crystal to revive him beforehand. Oh my god, how is he still alive? Okay, I did 40 damage with my gun that time, so it does do damage. That was an ordeal, wasn't it? Holy shit. What, are you, what is your problem you're having right now? You're... You are... Where's his status? Okay, disease. No health regeneration. Well, I need to fix that. Oh, shit. Okay, so... Healing him did not fix the health regeneration problem. So I must have to make a... 
I have to make a potion to heal that. Should I do it now, or should I try... The question is, do I try to heal his problem, or do I try to go all the way to the crystal? I think I'm gonna... I'm, I've, already, I've already said I'm gonna go for the crystal for the reason why I'm not using a... a re resurrection potion, so I'm gonna keep going for the crystal and see if I can make it so that I also don't have to use brew a potion to heal his disease. Just need to be careful, because anyone could just come after me at any point. I'm not cool with that. I'm not really psyched about the super dangerous, incredibly fast, hard to kill bug monsters, but right in here should be the crystal, hopefully. There it is. Anything gonna try to kill me right now? Okay, cool. Come back, wizard, I need you alive! That's where you're useful! It's a scroll of darkness. What do you do? Utility spell. Concentration. Negates all magical and non-magical light sources carried by your party. So it, it, it's it's the opposite of the scroll of light. It gets rid of all light. I'm, I'm actually out of room for spells. Jesus Christ. Okay. I need to come up with better places to put all these things. Put this scroll in here since that just tells me what to do. Huh. I'm gonna recast my light spell. Just in case it goes dead. Need that to see. Negates all light sources. Why would I want to do that exactly? Ooh. So gold key gives me access to... It looks like an axe and a blue... Th oh, the blue thing's part of the axe, it looks like. I don't have a gold key, do I? All I have is a lockpick, which I don't think works. Yeah, lockpicks only work on chests, as far as I know. And I don't really have anything... ...particularly useful this for this situation. Let's go ahead and stack my... ...reagents back into their bag. They, they keep getting out of their bag so pesky. Shame on you. Okay, so in there is important loot. So we'll do, uh... Requires gold key. So I know what I need there. It's good to label things. I've been I was bad about labeling things, and that's why I never explored that one cave. Is this gonna close this gap? It does. So now we have a shortcut. So that I can walk both ways through here without going all the way around. Although, admittedly, with the monster's gun the gone, the shortcut is less of a big deal. But that means I've I've unlocked a shortcut here, and I've unlocked a short shortcut back to the entrance, so I don't have to go back through this whole northern section again. By the way, someone pointed out that you can zoom out. And that tells you what places are actually called, which is handy. I, you can also change floors. So, we're on the top floor right now. The rune's Desarune, but you can go down, and that shows me the archives where those five buttons were. Or the twig root tunnels, which apparently... The twig root tunnels were actually bigger than twig root forest, which is impressive. But that's an important thing. It helps me figure out what, what the hell to name these videos, for one. But also means that I can better figure out what to do, because, uh... I had, a, I had a clue about Twig Root Forest being having a buried treasure in it, and I thought it was... Oh, well, there's a whole there's a whole forest all over the place, so I thought that, like, maybe Forgotten River was also the forest, but no, Twig Root Forest is a specific zone, so this square of area is where I look for that treasure buried between two lanterns. So that's actually important. Did my spell just run out? I feel like I just cast that. It's weird that it ran out so fast. So what am I going to find in here? Which way do I go from here? Oh. I have to reset my map because it's uh, it's still zoomed out. Whoops! I thought that I'm, I thought it would auto correct each time. I'm actually, gonna go the other way because this is more. I I try to stick towards boundaries of the map slash go towards places I've already been before to try to fill in the loops. Because the more you explore in the direction you haven't been in yet, the more likely you are to get lost and get attacked. And it's it's good to stick close to explored areas when you're exploring because let's see. So we, we can lockpick those, can't we? And that'll give me access to the weird skull helm in there. Or in here to give me access to a switch with a knife in it, which doesn't seem as useful. Probably gonna need a series of lockpicks in this room. But if you stick close to play places you've explored before, it makes you less likely to get attacked on multiple sides. The, what Part of the problem that happened earlier is I was going into a direction where I, have, I haven't been in any of the directions, so... The moment I backspaced into the wrong area, I got attacked. So we have two pull chain doors that open up. They might give- I, f I figure they might give me lock- they might give me keys that'll let me open those locks. What does this say? Hamlet of Stormbreach. Nailed it! Guess I'm not going to the Hamlet of Stormbreach anytime soon, assuming that's what the, the cave-in is about. This place is locked, with no apparent opening. You probably open it by flipping levers back there. So let's try... 
Actually, should I try, should I try a lockpick it? I don't know if a lockpick works here for sure. Lockpick does not work here. I need a different type of key. I don't remember what type of key. I'm sure I'll remember as soon as I find the key. I'll know. But there's a few types of keys. There's gold key, there's round key, and there's lockpick. And pro probably something else. So let's continue through here and hopefully not die horribly in the process. Hey guys, how you doing? Is there water? We have, we have a bridge that's overlooking something here. So there's some sort of second floor down there that I'm not super aware of the, the origin of. There's more of the second floor. There's a monster in that direction. Nothing obvious in that direction. What am I looking at over there? I don't like that. It's spooky looking. So I can go down to the second floor if I want to. There's also a button I can press here, but do I want to just press a button? Pressing button might might be a bad idea. Let's do it! Exciting! This is the part where I die. Oh, it's a green slime. I don't like green slime. Get out of here. Hey, green slime. You, oh! The good news is, it takes a lot of damage from, uh... It apparently takes damage from gunshots, which is weird. But I'll take it. Okay. So he takes a lot of- he takes a lot of physical damage, which is surprising. I'm used to slimes being enemies that you have to hit with elemental weaknesses, but this guy seems to be comparatively resilient to magic, but res but uh, not so resi resilient to uh, physical attacks. And now he's dead. Okay, I'll take it. Chopped him up like gelatin. Ha 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 ha. So, so is that was that the movement? Nope. Something else is moving in there. What are we gonna learn today? Ah! It's the ice elemental from before. Ah! There we go. Just wanted to get in this room as fast as possible because if I if I'm in a if I'm in a two by two room, I can deal with his mobility and his ranged attacks. But if I'm in a hallway, I'm in deep shit. So I, I had to take the hit just to make sure I was in this room. So this is my best chance is being in here. Come on, guy. Your move, holy man. Uh. Okay, we got this. Just gotta be patient and careful. I say that as if that's not how this whole game works. <laughs> that's me making a point. Can you can you tell? Okay. Shoot him in the face! We're doing okay. Do I have enough energy to cast another fire spell? I do. And he's dead. And Orenko gained a level. I like it when Orenko gains levels. Didn't I have a cool spell I wanted to cast? Alright, the fire spell. Uh, there's a fire, fire ball. Fire magic 3, air magic 1. Uh, I currently have air- Okay, I need to level up 3 times to gain access to that. Well, I'll, I might as well make my fire spell more powerful if I'm gonna cast it every 2 seconds anyway. Although, I may, have, I may have had a reason to increase my concentration, too, and I may, that I might have forgotten about, but... Oh well. We gotta commit. We have to commit. I'm not- I'm not- I'm not about to quick load out of my decisions. I only quick load when I- I only have quick save, quick load set up in the first place because I don't want to die horribly and then lose 15 hours of progress. Because that would severely hinder my progress at, uh, recording this series if I had to record- If I had to replay huge chunks of the game every time I died. So that trench is still down there. I might want to explore down there. Or I might want to go down this path over here. This game gives me the same feelings as Dark Souls 2. Where I never really had a good sense of which way it was going to go forward. So I just kind of checked every direction. And oftentimes the side path that I didn't think was going to be forward progress. And I thought I was just going to find a secret there. Was actually forward progress. We have fish. But we can't carry the fish because it's too heavy. So let's give it to someone to eat. You eat fish now. There we go. I'm collecting too much food, which is not a not necessarily a bad thing. What am I gonna find in here? It's a closed gate. Can I and I can open the closed gate. And behind the closed gate is a slime. Anything gonna attack me? Doesn't look like it. Yep. Oh, slimes shoot through grates. I guess I might might have seen that coming. So, let's see here. I should wait for the slime to get out of the way. Oh, didn't work. Okay. Screw you! Screw you! Shoot you with guns! Slime is rude. I don't like slimes. They're incredibly rude. Oh crap, I don't want to get trapped. Oop. Slime kind of hits hard. Slime's kind of a dick. I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure which way the slime's facing half the time. Uh, fireball. Hey, fireball worked really well. That time. Oh wait, I did upgrade my fireballs to do more damage, I guess. I'm all out of energy though, and I don't really want to use an energy sp energy potion right now. 
be very polite of you to just stop existing for a while. There we go. He's taken care of. No more slime. So what was slime guarding all the way through here? In this doorway we have that thing on the floor. Anything, any buttons around here? Just going to keep an eye out. I feel like the viewers might feel like participating a lot in the series because they can look for a uh, speed potion. What does a speed potion do? Does it make us all go faster? So we have a jewel pendant. A golden necklace itself is worth a fortune. The large, huge amethyst attached to it makes you rich beyond your wildest dreams. Are we really that rich? Because I mean, I could just leave. I, like, I got, I got my riches. I'm done. That doesn't actually make sense. We're trapped on an island. So willpower plus two. Willpower is the spell casting stat. So obviously, I'm going to give that to this dude. There you go, human wizard. Two more willpower on top of all your other willpower. Now you have 24 willpower. How much strength does this guy have? 23 strength. Nothing is high on my insectoid knight. And this guy's 18 dexterity. So I'm definitely excelling at intelligence and strength on my uh, strength on my characters that which should excel in intelligence and strength. I recast my Did I not do it right? There we go. Just wanted to recast my light spell. Oh that's what happened. I, cause I just I just failed to hold it down long enough. So I cast it. There's a good chance that earlier when I thought I had just cast it and then it went out a little bit later. I may have simply failed to cast it, which is entirely possible. So that's the trench explored. Be oh! Hi! Where'd you come from, buddy? I don't like you. Get out of here. Skedaddle. Gross. Get out of here. These slimes are just the most resilient things in the world. Where's that he healing crystal? I'm gonna try to make a trip back to the healing crystal to see if it's active right now, because my minotaur is low. And it might be worthwhile just to visit the crystal. Hey, crystal's crystal's good. Do I have to stand over here? Oh, we'd have to click on it. Duh. <laughs> I'm trying to walk into the crystal. There we go. I didn't feel like using a potion. And so the way I came from was here. That, so that crystal is actually... It doesn't have a huge cooldown, so if you make a trip to the crystal every now and then, you can save on healing items. And he didn't even move. How polite. I can resume exactly from where we left off. Ow. Rude. Ow. Ow. Did my gun just explode on me? What the fuck happened? I don't like that. I don't... That's gonna scare the shit out of me if my gun just can sometimes explode on me. That's not cool. Which way are you ever facing? And can you attack from any direction or do you have to face me? I'm not really sure. It's not incredibly clear on me. Wow, my gun is just jabbing like crazy now. I guess I should conserve ammo anyway, because I don't have a lot more of it. Hey, buddy. You want to make the move? You going to make the move? Hammer! It's sword time! Because <laughs> I already used the hammer, so it was then no longer... I could no longer say that it was going to be hammer time. <laughs> I am an idiot. So straight ahead to my right is a dead end, it looks like. So let's see what's there. Oh, there's a bridge. It's not a dead end. It just looked like one on the map. Which way do I want to go? Every path I take has more forking roads. Oh, ammo. And it looks like a dead end. So now, I'm eating my words about the about the uh, forking roads, I suppose. Are there any buttons? This would be a good place for a button. No, no sign of a button yet. In this game, it's almost like a time investment like question of like, do you want to check every single wall for buttons? Because you will find more if you do. But is it worth it? Good question. Don't know. Button on the left, button on the right, no. So this grate opens somewhere, but not for me yet. Anything bad in that direction? Nothing yet. Gotta be cautious though. We'll go ahead and quick save. It's been a little while. What are we gonna find in here? I don't wanna really wanna die. Oh, a dead end? With some herbs. I like herbs. Let's go up here. What am I gonna find up here? Ah! Ice dude, no! Why? So this looks like a chamber I've never been in before. Oh, he moved! Oh shit, I don't think I don't think that looking at your map pauses the game. A lever! Let's just press that. What could go wrong? I'm sure that they won't throw more enemies at me. They're probably gonna throw more enemies at me. Oh, I, op I opened that door. Cool. And is he gonna come down? He's, he's flying. He's fucking flying. Well, oh, okay, okay. At least he came in this room now. I can do that. Fireball. Axe. 
Now you're screw Oh, no, come back in here. Come back in here. Come back where floor exists. I like you better with floor. Ah, come on. Now you're just being rude. So rude. Come on. Come at me, bro. I got fireballs. There we go. Holy crap, 117 damage. That is a quantity of damage. And that was three damage. That's way less damage. The range of damage I have between my characters is massive in this, scenar in this scenario. Nope. Not standing in front of your ice spell. I'm not stupid. I ain't fall- Ooh, there's an item back there. I see a little gliss- I see a little shimmering. I wanna kill this guy because I don't want him chasing me. But I don't know how to get across there. There must be- When I go through the gate, maybe, it'll loop around and I'll get to come back here. Shame on you. Very rude. I'm gonna shoot you the gun for one damage. That was a waste of a bullet. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just stop hitting this guy with bullets. Most effective strategy seems to be hitting him with hammers and fire. And fire replenishes itself over time and does not use my resources, so that's good. Buddy, you wanna be somewhere? There we go. Oh, that of course I would miss. The nice thing about fire spells, they don't miss. But sometimes they only do 22 damage and they disappoint you. I'm not angry, fire spell, I'm just disappointed. You could have done better. Oh, 28. Weren't you doing like 100 damage earlier? Or 70? Or Okay, that's good. He's dead. Let's check down there to see if he dropped anything. I don't see evidence of a thing around here. But at least he's dead. One less, uh, one less ice dude to chase me around. So I want to get across there. But I don't see a way how. No button. No button. No button. Yep. So the, the dungeon must loop around at some point and give me access to that place. Because there's definitely an item over there. That I can't currently access, but let's go through this doorway that I just opened with the with the lever upstairs. Anything bad? Let's see. Let's check the map. If I go, if I go, I'll go left. I think because that might loop back into the place I previously explored. I I say that based on vague ideas of how directions work. Okay, behind, on my right, there's a secret wall that clearly opens, and behind it is a slime because I'm getting the green border around everything. So there must be a button that lets me open it. There's also a slime off in the distance that might come after me. Is he behind a gate? They are behind gates. Maybe I'll just keep that gate closed for a while. Is there a button? No? Some, so there's gotta be something around here somewhere. Really? There's a little inlet here. There's nothing in it. I thought for sure that this would have something in it. Okay. I guess I'll, I'll loop back around to the other side. Keep an eye out for any more- Ooh! Regents! Anything over here? You gotta be careful, because everything's gonna kill me. There's definitely slime in here. You can see the shiny. I think that's a trap. I'm gonna press something and a slime's gonna come out, and the door's gonna open, and all the slimes are come out, come out of there, too. No buttons anywhere that I can see. I'm gonna do something, and this gate's gonna open. Oh! Don't stand next to the gate. Oh, there's a key. I need that key. That's one of the keys I need, so I need to do this. But when I open it, I bet that that gate opens and unleashes slimes on me. And then behind me, more slimes come from behind me. And that's not going to be very cool. Oh, there's the button. I found the button of doom. What's wrong with you, buddy? You're starving. Oh, sorry. I keep I kept feeding it with food to everybody else, I suppose. What's the most... Cons what's the most foody food? A warg meat looks good. There we go. Anyone else starving? Or is everyone good? He's not doing great. Let's feed our... There we go. Taken care of. So the but there's a button on the left here. We'll see what happens when I press it. Nope, that gate didn't open, but this this one did. Where, oh, okay, is it over here? What did I just accomplish? Was it down here? Huh. I heard a gate noise, but saw no gate. I'm not sure what to make of that. Ah! I don't know how I keep making that mistake. Alright, we'll investigate a little bit later. I'm out of time to record for right now. But we'll figure out what the hell's going on in, a mo in the next episode, I think. Thanks for watching, guys. This is quite the extensive dungeon. Which I like. I like extensive, du ex extensive dungeons. It reminds me of uh, my first place I was really having fun, which is Twig Root. The Twig Root tunnels down here. That was a really cool zone. And where it looks like we're at an equally complicated area now. And I look forward to trying to conquer it next episode. See you guys later.